Nathaniel Clark has worked in law enforcement for more than 30 years. He started in Pine Bluff, then worked for the U.S. Treasury Department and the IRS. Now he will be the first African American to ever run the Fort Smith Police Department. After I did my research, it became apparent to me that Fort Smith, Arkansas is a great place to live and raise their loved ones. That's Nathaniel Clark talking to us from his home in Albany, Georgia. The city administrator says Clark was hired because he was the most qualified to be chief of police. As police chief, I represent the entire community, not any one segment. And it, it can't be any other way because I am a visionary leader. I'm self-motivated and I'm a bridge builder. And I believe it is critical that we have transparency. You know, as well as, as I know that one's perception becomes one reality. Clark says he's excited to help Fort Smith and the department progress for the future and to build better bonds between citizens and police. How do we sell ourselves? We need a brand to be able to go and who can tell a story better than we can? That's what we stand for, our mission, our goals and our vision. But the department has faced challenges. In March, the former chief resigned after a city worker heard him make a racial comment. And hiring minority officers has also been tough. Right now, out of 141 officers, only two are African American. The new chief says he hopes to help change that. Diversity is crucial. We need a diverse department. Our department should be a reflection of the city that we serve. However, at the end of the day, as police chief, I want the best and most qualified applicant to serve the citizens of Fort Smith, Arkansas. Clark tells me initially he was planning to be on the job the first week of January. Now he's hoping to be here sometime in December, and he's eager to get started. In Fort Smith, Brett Raines, 4029 News.